Ooh. Hey y'all, so today I will be reviewing the new Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Line. Wow, that is a mouthful. I am super excited. Let's get into it. All the products by Shea Moisture are sulfate free, silicone free, phthalate free, propylene glycol free, paraben free, and animal cruelty free. First, the shampoo. As stated before, this has none of that gunky stuff that I mentioned, and it's all full of good stuff as well. This contains coconut oil, coconut milk, rose hip oil, and shea butter. So I'm just going to fill my palm with it. It has a pearlescent look and a very coconut milky texture to it. This leathers up very beautifully, very creamy, very milky. I'm just going to apply this to my hair and work it into my scalp. For a deeper clean, I'm going to use my shampoo brush. Time to rinse out. The shampoo did not strip my hair and it feels clean, but it doesn't feel dry, which is a great sign. Next, the conditioner. The conditioner, same thing, no bad junk, all good stuff. This contains coconut oil, coconut milk, shea butter, and rosehip oil. So I'm just gonna do a few pumps in my hand. I used about three pumps. This stuff is not thick at all. It's actually super lightweight. It feels like body lotion. It is extremely creamy. So I'm just going to apply this to the ends of my hair. While I'm working through my tangles, it has a moderate amount of slip. It's not the best amount of slip, but it'll do its job. Time to rinse out. This conditioner is very light and I recommend that you deep condition if you're going to use this conditioner if your hair is super, super tangled. Next is the leave-in conditioner. Again, none of the bad stuff, all of the good stuff. This contains coconut oil, shea butter, argan oil, sweet almond oil, nettle, and rosemary. The solution is really thick in the bottle, so I was surprised when it actually sprayed out like a spray. So I'm just going to split my hair down the middle, and I'm going to spray this directly into my hair. So I'm going to put some in my hands, rub it, rake it through my hair, and scrunch. Now I'm going to scrunch with my Diva Towel microfiber towel. I'm going to plop for 10 minutes and then air dry. So my hair is about 80% dry. To add a bit more shine and definition, I'm going to use the Finishing Shine Serum. Again, none of the gunk, all of the good. This contains coconut oil, grapeseed oil, castor oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil. So this thing sprays out like a very straight jet, so it would be very hard to put this in my hair directly. So I'm just going to squirt some into my palm, rub it, and I'm just going to smooth it all over my hair. And I'm going to put some on my ends as well. Alrighty y'all, so here are my final results. Honestly, I was afraid to use these products because I'm protein sensitive and all of these products have a buttload of coconut, but my hair is soft. It's super soft, it's moisturized, it's shiny, it's defined. I love Shea Moisture, y'all know this. But I gotta say, these are my new favorite products by them. They're amazing. They're amazing. Uh, comment below what you think of the results. And also let me know your favorite Shea Moisture product and why it's your favorite. Leave me comments of other products you'd like me to review. If you want to follow me on any of my social media or purchase any of these products, I will leave all the information down below. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!